AAA should be coming now pretty soon. My, I kill him, the baby. I just bought this big rig. What are those bubbles coming from? Homelander moment. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! All right, guys, welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. Today we're cutting down the lean to. Look at this sussy sign. This is my buddy Colton. He's helping us here with getting rid of this lean to. It's just kind of in the way for the new construction. Okay, we're throwing all this stuff away. This was the baby's old house. Wow. Turns out rats were using it as a nest in my storage container. Throwback. Here we go. Ah! <gasps> oh, baby. I forgot that I just used plastic for some of these. We also had a lot of volunteers come out from a base Christian fraternity. Throw it at that pole. Make sure you hit it. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it. Don't hit my... Ah! Look at all these beautiful boys. Just took an epic thumbnail pic for the last video I posted, you guys. <laughs> That's right, I don't do it in order. Take a look at this. This is my son, the baby. What do you think he's thinking about, you guys? What is he looking at? Okay, more for me. <laughs> hey, it's me, the baby. Stop eating my food. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm turning this nasty tent thing here into a decent shelter for the rear where they get shelter on all sides. And I can lock them in here if they decide to be stupid and not get out of the rain. I'm leveling the ground here around it with the shovel. Pretty soon this is going to be finished, but look at this, you guys. This area used to be where the pigs would go to poop. There's pumpkin plants here, pumpkin plants over here, a Kevin boy right here. But look how happy all these creatures are, you guys. After I'm done finishing this, pretty soon I'm going to move all the rear to be over here with Kevin again. And we can focus on diet specifications for ostrich and emu instead of rhea. Even though these guys essentially all eat about the same thing. Isn't that right, soldier boy? All right, everybody. As you can see here, this thing is done. Now I can technically herd them all in there and close them in if need be, and they'll be fine and safe from the weather. We got this cute little fire pit here, and now you can see my house from here. And you can see right through here. I got rid of all the old nasty tarps on this thing, and we're gonna get rid of a lot of the stuff in there. Funny how this chimkin and her baby are just sitting there. Look how she's still sitting on top of her baby. She is such a good mom. We moved all these fence panels in the back thanks to our friends at the Baylor Bucks fraternity. We still have to throw this stuff out. All of this is scrap though and we're gonna take this all to the scrap yard. Lot of metal. And we can at least get something for it or we'll try and sell it but realistically we're probably just gonna have to scrap. We got this bad boy here that we're gonna be using tomorrow to unload some of the stuff for the Bennell building. The foundation is now complete and we knocked the lean to down. Finally got rid of all the trash over here and now i'm gonna get rid of this nasty stuff and yeah you guys my worm farm is back after a long time what are those bubbles coming from look at this you guys my worm farm it's back <laughs> and all you thought oh uncle ben you could never create such a successful worm farm again that was just luck the first time well take a look at this the trick is the minecraft <laughs> lunchbox i'm so good at worm farming that i'm just gonna go ahead and dump all this out because i don't even care i can do it again i'll let these worms escape for another day. I'm sorry, are you unable to create such an amazing worm farm, Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Justin Rhodes. Are you unable to farm such amazing quality worms as these? Well, here they are, you guys, eating like crazy. Now the baby's getting into the rat type feed too. But look, you guys, they have already done a number on all this grass here. I need to start feeding them more. Also, now that the foundation is closed up, I made this peanut butter poison patty so we could get all the rats out of my attic and wall. Sure is a cold morning out there. Good morning, everybody. It is me, Uncle Ben, and I am forklift certified now, so I'm going to be using this. Today, we're going to be building a barn. I have this forklift here. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> What's up, guys? I just bought this big rig. We did it, guys. And while I'm waiting for my buddy Matt to show up so he can operate this forklift, I'm not about to run the risk of destroying all that metal by myself. It says feels like 32 outside, so I have these adorable babies in here on my couch. And I like to just sit and stare at them like this for hours. Certified forklift moment. Check out my brand new shoes and my watch. Ever heard of it? Now this is a certified forklift moment. Oh yeah, baby! Uh, whoa, whoa, we walk. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Now, this is an epic gamer moment. Ask about y'all go in the comments and say, thank you, Bass Matt. You are very handsome and we love you. Good morning, Starshine. Earth says, hello. My adorable favorite son, Cringe. Let me pet you. Pet. Come on, don't be cringe. Pug. 
Oh. They actually created a burrow inside this little hay bale here, and that's also all food for them. Pretty cool. All right, everybody, we did it. I took down the rest of this fence right here. We now have no more middle fence. We need to just take down the poles. That's right, we are renovating this nice barn here. In the last seasons of this anime, we had this barn here, and this is where the other animals wintered. Now this is where our children will be wintering. And yes, Remington is still alive. We are not eating him for Thanksgiving yet one day we're gonna throw away the rest of this stuff and we're gonna scrap all the other metal this is all gonna be chopped up and used for a long time as firewood for us and then look at that beautiful cedar matt's gonna come back with his skid steer and pull out these stumps and then after we get a little bit of work done on the pad we're gonna knock this bad boy down and move it out of the way but pretty soon this will be a 60 foot by 32 foot building i know i said 40 by 50 on the gofundme i'm sorry but this is technically a little bit bigger i think Okay, apparently it's actually 80 square feet less. I'm sorry, but this is what we could do. We're going to create another lean-to after this bad boy is up. And I'm thinking about actually using the same kind of style with some good cedar logs like this. So after we knock all these bad boys out, get this up, I'm going to get some more of these to make it look just like it was before. Only a lot safer, newer, and less dangerous. A little bit redundant there. We still have this base to mural that Tabby and I made at my friend's Kringay birthday party. We still have Monkey. Clappy be like please uncle ben let us in your room so we can sniff you please let us sleep in your bed they have learned to hop hop in search of kibbles and bits they went right outside when i opened the door and now they're just coming back in and this is going to be the new cappy enclosure i thought about fixing up that little kennel that they have but instead i'm going to use this as the new cappy enclosure now obviously we're going to need to clean it out but take a look at this you guys we're just going to have to fill it up with nice fresh hay which i have a ton of it's nice and insulated a little bit more insulated than that kennel would be whoa is that his cringe ah uh ah -uh, dog it sure has been a while since old uncle ben got up in this bus oh <laughs> molly get out of the shot whoa callahan's general store cringe yeah kill him poggers look at these cringe ah uh, uh, dogs i suppose the cappies are pooping under the sheets for today oh look at that look at that it's snowing and we're gonna be giving this uh three pound hershey's bar uh to our dogs big chocolate bar big chocolate bar for you come on come on oh, oh he's okay guys moment of truth right here okay it sounds like the battery's working uh-oh What's happening? Suppose this is what happens when you leave a 20-year-old bus outside for a year. Oh, sure can't wait to get these things out of my living room. We actually did clean up the storage bin. This is it when it's clean. It was so much worse before. And it's actually snowing right now. Walt's over here dragging this trough over for the rat tights while I'm over here sniffing this delicious cedar. <gasps> I'm calling AAA right now because I'm a 22-year member and I get most of the services for free because my dad signed me up for AAA whenever I was like three years old. Oh, was that hit rapper and artist, the baby? And once we start feeding them in there, they're going to start to get more comfortable in there. Okay, I'm on the phone with AAA. Don't worry, I got him muted. Perfect, thank you so much. Oh, you too, sir. Thank you so much. Right, you guys, that's it. AAA should be coming now pretty soon. And we will be able to get this uh, bus jump started and hopefully moved over so it can now be a little shelter for the Cappy Blappies. What is it, the baby? Are you all cold and rained on right now from all the rain and the cold? Hey, it's me, the baby. Please buy my concert tickets at a, at a discounted rate of buy one, get one free. Okay, now that we got all these guys in here, I'm going to take their food and move it back into that trough. Okay, as you can see, this is our new barn it's very spacious and we have the food right here i am pretty excited to see how these guys do a number on the grass that's here they've already gone and eaten all the leafy greens and it's only been a few days yeah kill them to baby and for some reason all the ducks are hiding in this wooded area I'm also gonna burn this painting because it's it's got holes in it you see that oh oh lord he coming oh lord he coming better stop being abhorrent holy cringe with our little guests okay now we're setting up this fencing here for the baby look at these cringe uh uh brown creatures no there's bees over there the baby bee okay kids today i'm gonna show you how to hammer down a t-post beautiful baby boys to the 
this over and over again. Last time this year, uh, I couldn't even do this because I had a broken hand, remember? Kanye moment. All right, everybody. We finished cutting down most of the wood. These pigarinos are just sitting here being adorable. I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy for a joy ride. <laughs> Look at these beautiful baby boys. Well, if it isn't a random possum making a nest in my chicken coop. This angers me so greatly right now. Oh, like mother, like daughter. I suppose. Okay, just burn that old chicken coop and I put all this in here for a little new poppy. Even though some of these may be fertile, they're cold and then nobody's laying on them, so they're probably not gonna hatch. I'm gonna give every one of these to Poppy. I went ahead and gave her this egg. I put these ones in here for look at this adorable little babe. And she is free to go whenever she wants. I'm not keeping her captive here, but I am giving her thing. But we're finally done burning everything, and little Pog Boy is just relaxing over here. All by himself. Cringe, ah, uh ah, -uh, pog boy. And I can see my house from here again. Precious baby boy. Good morning, everybody. I'm done making the cappy enclosure. Actually, I still need to put two walls on here, but this is good enough for now, even though it's a bit shanty town, dare I say. But take a look at this. Every morning I wake up and I see my sky track, and then I go out there and I do wheelies in my driveway on it. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. It's a little holiday season without some mistletoe. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. From all of us here at the Urban Rescue Ranch, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I almost forgot to type. Perfect. <laughs> also, here's Don Tolliver reacting to my TikTok. Please give me my money back, Don Tolliver. He claimed my other videos. Please, Don Tolliver, please give me my money back. Please, Homelander Don Tolliver. moment.